Make sure to stand till the end. Even though we'll be talking about symptoms of bad camshaft position sensor, we'll explain what mistakes people make. And in some cases, it could not be a bad sensor. It could be something else. And we'll talk how to test it. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a car and if you want to know what are the symptoms of bad camshaft position sensor, we'll explain that in this video today. We'll talk about how to test camshaft position sensor to find out if it's good or bad. And also we'll talk if you have engine light and code relating to camshaft position sensor how it could be something completely different causing your problem and some people will waste quite a bit of time and money fixing the problem so avoid that make sure you stand till the end and we will talk what you need to check first all that will be covered in this video today before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that because our mission the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos and if you guys need to buy any parts tools uh, for a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from and you can guys save a ton of money so let's start on it now so this specifically guys is a Dodge Challenger right here muscle car that we'll be talking about but even if you have a different vehicle it doesn't matter most of the engines uh, work about the same way whether you have a four cylinder v6 or v8 they will still have camshaft position sensor on your engines due to the fact that you have variable timing guys you see that's uh, the variable camshaft actuator right here two of them so that means that it has dual variable timing uh, it has variable timing for the intake camshaft and um, exhaust camshaft so it can retard and advance the timing on each camshaft but the engine computer will need to know the exact location of each camshaft so what it uses it uses a camshaft position sensor now most cars will have two camshaft position sensor on dual dual camshaft uh, variable car but this one has only one sensor but if you pay attention the two sensors are integrated in one on left side is for intake camshaft on the right side is for the exhaust camshaft so uh, what are the symptoms guys okay uh, before we talk about that if you need to see how to replace camshaft position sensor we have the video on the channel if you want to see how to test camshaft position sensor we have that video as well uh, but if it fails what you can experience number one most likely check engine light will come on and you will have a code that relates to camshaft position sensor it could say something like camshaft position sensor one or two bank one or bank two another thing uh, you may experience loss of power because the variable timing may be uh, not functioning at that point on your car it will just go to a neutral position number three you may uh, experience hesitation like kind of like loss of power number four you may feel vibrations coming from the engine uh, due to the fact that you, it will not be running so efficient it will be not so balanced number five increased fuel consumption number six rough idle number seven it you could get guys okay a long start let's say you try to start the car it will take a few seconds then it will start number eight you may not be even able to start the car in some cases that's very rare but i've seen it happen number nine okay uh, it may act funny the car may start revving up and then kind of like uh, trying to die revving up trying to die or uh, the last one you may notice the car dying when you have automatic and you get to a stop sign or a traffic light you have to slow down and stop the car all of a sudden dies you start it and it runs again it could be because of that one as well guys uh, those are some of the most common ones but if you get a code for bad sensor it could be something completely different it could be guys that connector that connects to the camshaft sensor why because that connector often people will work on the car and they will not either push it all the way in and they will not use the safety lock to insert it once it's connected that way it cannot disconnect while you're driving also if you have an oil leak from the valve cover also it can contaminate the wiring harness and that can affect the transfer of the signal so check for oil leaks dirt contamination water sometimes if you washed your engine 
and it can even corrode some of the wires. We've seen that happen. And uh, something that we've seen quite often that people will not even suspect, when they disconnect that sensor, they'll press down on the connector and they will pull for the wires on the back. When you do that, you can yank them, you can pull them out of the connectors. As a result, um, it may not be touching, okay? Uh, the pin on the camshaft sensor and as a result you may get a call for a bad camshaft sensor but it's actually a wire that's not uh, communicating because it's pulled out of the connector so inspect that as well and something that we saw on a car that a person spent so much time and money to fix it a mouse ate the cable okay a little bit chew on the cable during the winter months it tried to find probably a warm spot in the engine bay and as a result uh, uh, it was just a chewed wire that was causing the problem also check uh, check fuses and relays for engine computer power train and sometimes you have for camshaft position sensors hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you need any help with that thank you for watching see you next time